All right, y'all, let's get started. We got a grandbaby trying to come home <laughs> from school. Yeah. Saying she's sick and did something. And did something she wasn't supposed to. Our parent teacher conference today. Yeah, it's funny how your kids get sick when they have parent teacher conference. Mm-hmm. All right, welcome back. Today, we're starting season three. Season three. This is season three. Uh-uh. Season three. We did watch season two histories and lore. Yeah, we just finished watching that. Uh, yeah. You guys asked for it. She finally caved in to do it. Yeah, now I ain't gonna see that much reaction. Now. I'm just being honest. I'm just looking and taking in all the information and stuff. How much to react to when it's just a cartoon picture? So. Yeah. So. so. This is where, this is this is the season where like the next three to four seasons are my favorite seasons. Oh really? Three, four, five, and six are like are my favorite seasons out of all of them. Oh, really? So this is when it starts getting, <laughs> getting a little good. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's my whiteness. Leave me alone. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> oh All right, let's get started. Let's get this. Let's get the show on the road. Sir Barristan Selms, it is time to put aside your sword. You're too old to protect anyone. Here, boy. Melt it down and out it. He's such a wimp. He jumped. Is gonna march on the wall. One brother inside his army be worth a thousand fighting against it. They'll never trust me. He actually filmed like these scenes up in like Norway or something where it's like really cold. Oh, really? Yeah. The battle is over. We have won. I wish he would have showed up like 10 seconds later. Badly <laughs> wed your sweet sister. <laughs> She's like, oh, wait. It's just on the half hung. Two blasted wildlings. Run! <laughs> like, boy, run. <laughs> Sam said, I can't run this fast as you. <laughs> Dehydrated every time. It'd be hard to run the snow with that big ass cloak on. He running though. (laughs) He running for his life. Brother. Ah. You knew. Mm-mm. Well, damn. I just cut his head off and put it in his hands. I'm like, dang, yeah. His eyes gonna open. Or somebody behind. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Who is that? Oh. Fucking ghost coming up with the with the big save right there. Just not bad. No, remember ghost went off. He didn't. He ah. didn't get John. Jesus, great save. Did you send the ravens? That was your job. Your only job. It's like they left me in a damn thing to get surrounded by white walkers. What do you want me to do? We need to get back to the wall. Oh, his friends right there. Yeah, they made it back. 
But they left him there. Yeah. Have to warn them. Or before winter's done. Yeah, Everyone you've see, ever no known will be dead. Oh well. So that was a <laughs> that was the first time they ever did a cold open. Where they had like a part, yeah. uh, scene before the title credit. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they did. Yeah. yeah. That was the first time they ever did that. And the first time they ever started with. in the world. Ah. Last time we seen a giant, Jon Snow. I don't stare too long, they're shy. Mm, they're angry. I've seen them. I don't need no damn hammer. Hmm. Okay, I'll look at you. Oh, come on, little boy. Once was a ranger. I'll, I'll pick up that doggone rock and throw it back at him. Don't look so grim, Jon Snow. Man's ready really likes you. You'll live another day. It's good to looking grim. <laughs> <laughs> Kill these friends. What do we want with the baby claw? He wants to be one of us. That half handed cunt killed friends of mine. Friends twice your size. My father told me big men fall just as quick as little ones. If you put a sword through their hearts. What's your name, boy? Jon Snow. Your Grace. Stand, boy. We don't kneel for anyone beyond the wall. So. And Ned Stark's bastard. See, that's why I say with these ravens, they don't know where to go. People just uh, get them all. Oh, this not for me. But great information and send them on their way. I know, because so, I mean, people know too much that they shouldn't be knowing. Yeah. Why do you want to join us, Jon Snow? I'll ask you one last time. Why do you want to join us? We stopped at Craster's Keep on the way north. I saw Craster take his own baby boy and leave it in the woods. I saw what took it. You saw one of them? Because when I told the Lord Commander, he already knew. I want to fight for the side that fights for the living. Okay. You convinced him. Convinced him, you convinced him. Mm. And this fool. Why you ain't with your buddy? Yeah, why ain't you with Tyrion? <laughs> it better be a woman, not no boy. I mean. Sir Bron. Uh, apologies, sir. Back away. Keep backing away till you're outside this establishment, then back away some more. <laughs> I will murder you, boy. <laughs> he said it was a matter of life and death. They don't look that bad, Terry. Mm -hmm. Chicks dig cars. Mm. So they say. I don't know. Pod. It's your sister. Mm -mm. Right, for you come and gloat in front of her? Will you let me in? Nope. No, I don't think so. If I wanted to kill you, do you think I'd let a wooden door stop me? That man back. He back. Huh? He's back. Who? That man that he banished kept on always hitting on the, the other girl. Oh, he didn't banish him. I thought he banished him. No. Nah. No, nah, he's one of the king's guard. He, he banished the city watch guy. Bit of a come down from Chamber of the Hand. 
Then I don't suppose you need much room. Hmm. Grand Maester Pycelle made the same joke. Because you slandered me to father before. Slandered? It's not slander if it's true. And what's this really? truth you plan on telling him today? Why are you so nervous about what I'm going to say to father? Because you're a liar. <laughs> really? You're a clever man. But you're not half as clever as you think you are. Mm. Still makes me more clever than you. <laughs> Sabron of the Blackwater. You're no knight. You're an up-jumped cutthroat. And you're a grub in fancy armor who's better at beating little girls than fighting men. Hmm. Now, I have an appointment with Lord Tyrion. You put your hand on that door, you lose the hand. <laughs> I appreciate a walk in the sunshine, your lordship. I am wondering why you sent for me. A number of people in this city want to kill me. You're here to protect me. I've been doing that for a while now. I just love that sea, man. Yeah. If you want me to carry on protecting you, you'll need to pay more. I thought we were... You don't pay more. I don't even know how much I'm paying you now. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you can afford it. I don't even know how much I'm paying you now. Oh, you don't watch that fun thing. <sighs> you never seen it before. Yeah. Well, at least he lives. He burned, but. Yeah. Help me! Ain't nobody on that ship. That's just somebody on it. Who are you? I was in the battle at Blackwater. And serving which king? Oh Lord. That's where it gets kind of tricky, huh? Yeah. Who you serving? Stunners Baratheon. I guess he said the right name. I thought you were dead. Hmm. And your son? He did. Stannis lives group. He's a broken man. His fleet lies at the bottom of Blackwater Bay. They say he sees no one. Only the Red Woman. Take me back there, please. The Lannisters have been running from us since Oxcross. I'd love a fight. I don't think we're going to get one. Dang, that's a lot of men. Two hundred Northmen slaughtered like sheep. The debt will be repaid, my friend. Will it? They rot in the ground while their killer runs free. That look like a lot of what he gonna say now. Tyrion's like, will you stop fucking Ray? What do you want, Tyrion? What do I want? I want what is mine, by right. I am your son and lawful heir. You want Casterly Rock. And when the time is right, you will be given a position fit for your talents so that you can serve your family and protect our legacy. And I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to Casterly Rock. Who? Why? You ask that? You who killed your mother to come into the world? Mm. It's not his fault. Men's laws give you the right to bear my name and display my color since I cannot prove that you are not mine. Uh but neither gods nor men will ever compel me to let you turn Casterly Rock into your whorehouse. Well, he's a mean person. Mm. I can't have nobody. I mean, but you okay with your son and your daughter sleeping together? Because whatever, he knows. He knows. He okay with that. Because the truth is always either terrible or boring. Lovely day for it. Watching the ships. Might I speak with Lady Sansa alone for a moment? I saw your mother not long ago. And your sister. Are you alive? He don't know. Oh, well, yes, he do. He did see her, huh? You're her handmaiden. We've both done rather well, you and I. Given where we started. Watch out for her. I always do. Watch out for her with him. <laughs> Man, she don't trust him, so nope. No woman should. Mm. Nobody should, because he a sneaky oh. little thing. 
Wait a minute, they ain't got grown? Oh, they got a little bigger. I don't want to say grown. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm gonna cook my food before I eat it. Hey. <laughs> Some say the Unsullied are the greatest soldiers in the world. The greatest slave soldiers in the world. Another lovely day in the high seas. Yeah. Hey y'all. Well, I guess with that you could feel the waves. As yeah. long as I can't feel the waves, I'm good. The smaller the moat, boat, the more you. How is it? Up and down of the ocean. Big old cruise ship. We good. You, you only feel that with her the storm. Yeah. The the fur the ferry in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. I got so sick of the dog on that day. <laughs> I was like, oh Jesus. Never again. <laughs> He's still pouting. Heard you were dead. Not yet. I had hoped to speak to you alone, Your Grace. We are alone. No, oh, you don't see her back there? And the people back there? And there's somebody back there too? Uh, I was. And there is still a war to fight. I am fighting. By burning prisoners alive. How would you punish the infidels, Sir Devils? I do not judge people for the gods they worship. If I did, I'd have thrown you in the sea before you ever set foot on Dragonstone. I'm not your enemy. You are my enemy. I wasn't there when the wildfire killed our men by the thousands. You should have been. I could have saved those men. How? But I wasn't there because you convinced your king to leave me behind. Oh, that. oh really? So we're going to go there now? Nobody convinces the king to do anything. You ain't going to stop that big ass explosion. Oh, I can't wait till she. Somebody going to kill her. I can't wait. Death by fire is the purest death. She's a mother of demons! Take him to the dungeon, lock him in a cell. Oh. He done, he done lost it. He's a mad king now. And then you pout. Yeah. You pout. No true king don't pout. Oh, you don't walk around like oh, that? Oh, he ain't walking no more. He gotta get carried. Afraid gonna get hit in the face with a pile of shit again. <laughs> That's right. Oh! Oh! Look, he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who told y'all to stop? Why have we stopped? It's Lady Marjorie, your grace. Would you like to speak with her, your grace? Yeah. Whenever you look at this night, I want you to remember your father. He wasn't a knight. He was just a soldier. So she's just trying to be, trying to win. She politic. Oh. <laughs> Hearts and minds. Your Grace. Please, sit, sit. I do apologize, my lady. Small council meetings. Joffrey tells me you stopped your carriage at Flea Bottom on your way back from the Sept this morning. Yes. I paid a visit to an orphanage the High Septon told me about. <laughs> she said this, this, this elf right here. Uh. Not long ago, we were attacked by a mob there. The king barely escaped with his life. My mother's what always is? had a penchant for drama. Facts become less and less important to her as she grows older. Our lives were never <laughs> truly in danger. Why would you run like a little girl? Right, of course. But you are your father's son. We can't all have a king's bravery. <laughs> oh, the shade being thrown across the room. <laughs> As Solora said, Lady Marjorie has done this sort of uh, charitable work before. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Hmm. Because you sure as heck. You sure as heck haven't. The Unsullied have stood here for a day and a night with no food or water. Tell me of their training. Japra Vestorosia las creni, y vetra stori vije vachoma gig miles covejotre. Ebas kimi hos kokidomas medis bonmari. 
Kuni Begistas Vesta Rosi, Lis Kuni Deputeta. San Francisco, Villa Seadre Hekido. They begin their training at five. Hey, what do you say? Jezanti Ivetra Shivali Nevinki Sisi Zohilis Vimurko. Ivetra Zevebi Tuzi Zezorkos. Dozra Gizi. Scatala Jacobri. Pinda Kuma of Zino. He begs you attend this carefully, Your Grace. Don't lay. What? Zandi. Tell the good master, there is no need. He's a zener kizi, doze on his livers. Good lord. Oh my god. Have we did that? Busy, let's clean it. Not to toggle. Shoot, it ain't hurting. <laughs> to win his shield, an unsullied must go to the slave marts with a silver mark, find a newborn, and kill it before its mother's eyes. They love some baby killing on the show, don't they? Mm -hmm. How many do you have to sell? Pinas coverti da vojedi li slaraski. Eight thousand. Master Krasnis asks that you please hurry. Many other buyers are interested. Scorpion. She part of the blue people. I mean, the blue people. The warlocks. Yeah. Oh, that's the one that had the white cloak. Yeah. Huh? I owe you my life, sir. The honor is mine. My queen. You know this man. I know him. That's one of the greatest fighters the Seven Kingdoms has ever seen. King Robert is dead. I've been searching for you, Daenerys Stormborn, to ask your forgiveness. I was sworn to protect your family. He look like he don't he don't want you to be there because you a competition because he two two old men. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm. Allow me to join your Queen's Guard. And I will not fail you again. Well, he looks jealous. I think he, I don't think he's jealous. I think he's worried about something else. What are you about? I'm telling that he is he sent there to kill her, or he was trying to kill We're her. Spying so. on him, probably. Yeah. He's looking a little, okay, little stressed okay, out. Okay. Okay. Pretty good start to the season. Yes. 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 So, yes. So da Daenerys is trying to get her get her army. What's his name, Mister Lannister? What's his name? Tywin. Tywin Lannister. He's a butt. Yeah. I mean, you saw what Tyrion did just before you got there. Yeah. And you gonna just like you killed your mother when she that wasn't his fault. He was a baby coming into the world. Yeah. Well, they don't go into it in the show, but in the books, mm -hmm. there's a from where the books there's 
a theory that Tyrion might not be his. Cause oh. Because apparently the Mad King kind of liked Tywin's wife. And oh. Because in the books, Tyrion has more, uh, you know, on the show, because in the books he has more of a whitish blonde hair instead of a golden blonde hair, from what I understand. So there's a theory that he might not be, might not be. Is Tyler. that why he said I can't prove? Yeah, that. I can't prove it. I'm like, really? Can't prove that you. He's not. But yet. that man, I mean, like, he's saying all those are bad. But things. apparently, I wish she knew the language so she'll, you know, speak speak of herself. Be like, let me let you go ahead and go um, through your 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 thing, which y'all do. Oh, he's letting somebody else speak for you. Yeah. Stuff. I'm like, they ain't gonna cut that man nipple off. <laughs> did it did make your nipple hurt? <laughs> Tingled. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> but I'm like, okay, okay. And then Jon Snow, that he convinced the yeah, wildlings, yeah. right? The wildlings to, yeah, yeah. to to take him in and stuff. And then Sam. Sam did send the river. You had one job, but he was fired. To be fair, he's running for his life. Yeah, how's he going to send the ravens when he's he left? They left him alone, and he's surrounded by white walkers. And, and I zombies. did not see not one raven. <laughs> the raven was on top of the up there on top of the thing with the other people. <laughs> yeah, I was like Lord, did, did you send a raven? No, I didn't send a raven. No sir, no sir. <laughs> <laughs> but it's off to a good start. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Continue to um, go with us on this journey. Like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye. See you next episode. <laughs>